Cars have made life easier for billions of people. But can they do better? Can they take on some routine car-related tasks? In the future, they may be able to find a spot in a parking garage entirely on their own. VW presents V-Charge. It allows the driver to use an app to tell an e-golf to park itself. The user enters the time when they plan to return and, if desired, a request that the car be recharged. The driver receives a confirmation and leaves the car to itself. It does the rest automatically. Car tester Reinhold Deisenhofer believes this is the future of driving. You just leave the car at the garage and go off to an appointment or shopping, and it finds a parking spot automatically. The real sensation is that if a garage has a charging station, the car can automatically go to recharge itself. When it's fully charged, it frees up the station and finds another parking spot. Self-parking cars pose no danger to other drivers or pedestrians. Cameras, ultrasound sensors, and emergency braking systems already developed for conventional models have been adapted for use in the V-Charge project. The car can recognize pedestrians in its path and come to a stop. With V-Charge, an electric car isn't recharged in the usual way. It parks above an induction pad mounted in the floor of the charging bay. The entire charging infrastructure is also far more efficient. Once charging is complete, the car equipped with V-Charge automatically makes way for another car to use the station and finds another parking spot. The navigation system in the garage is self-contained, so a GPS signal is unnecessary for the car to find its own way around. All self-parking cars will eventually have to have access to high-resolution 3D maps of the participating garages to find their way to the charging stations without GPS. VW calls its charging technology eSmart Connect. Reinhold Deisenhofer explains that the charging station of the future will work completely independently of humans. The car drives itself in and a robot arm makes the connection. It takes 19 to 30 minutes to reach 80% of the battery capacity, which the car detects by itself and automatically makes the station available or the robot can move to another car. But why do we need a robot arm at all? The high voltages require thick cables, which are heavy and inflexible. They may be too cumbersome for some people to handle. But the robot arm has no problem with it, and the driver can go shopping or have a cup of tea in the meantime. Once the robot has accessed the car's data, it can locate the connector and plug in the charging cable without human help. A camera and a light help it to target the socket with millimeter precision. But the robot can't open the recharging cap itself. There are too many variations of shape and position for it to remember. Either the driver will have to open the cap before handing over the car, or when the time comes, it will have to open itself electronically. <laughs>